Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So today we have Maruti Suzuki S Cross. So I'm not reviewing the car today because I have already done it. If you still haven't watched it, please click the i card right there. Well, now to begin with, S Cross is considered as an SUV. If this really is an SUV, can this go off-roading? Well, I know that not all of you are gonna take the S Cross off-roading. I know you'd buy this car for its road presence and for its luxuriousness. But if you really is an enthusiast and if you want to go off-roading. Let this video set an example for what this car is really capable of. Obviously, S Cross isn't meant for rough stuff, but it did really well considering its ground clearance of 180 mm. Well, I have bought the Ignis for off-roading as well, and it has the same ground clearance as the S Cross of 180 mm. But S Cross, even though it has the same ground clearance, S Cross did pretty well than uh, than the Ignis because it has bigger wheels than the Ignis. Well, I bought the S Cross in the same location as I bought the Ignis. If you people have watched the Ignis video, you'll know the location, how steep and deep the roads are. If you still have not watched the video of the Ignis, please click the icon right there. And if you are new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. I really appreciate if you do. So this car comes with the courtesy of Nexa Friendly Motors, which is here in Mysuru, Van Villas Road. So if any one of you are looking to buy any kind of Suzuki vehicle, uh, please do go visit them. I have left a link in the description for the address and contact number as well as for their Instagram profile. Please do go follow them for their uh, regular updates. Well, now to begin with, I have divided the off-roading into four phases where I'll take the S-Cross. So the phase one will be deep tracks where there will be deep stuff and phase two will be uh, rock crawling. So moving on to the phase three, there will be a lot of uphill climbing and descending. So which will be just really hard. And moving on to the phase four, this is what crazy. We are going to make our own way using the S-Cross. So as you can see how deep this, uh, you know, the path all is. And we do had a little bit of, you know, uh, a wheel spin, but not a lot of it. As you can see, we have come the half halfway, and you can see the ground clearance of it right now. There is no bumper or any kind of things have been touched the ground. As you can see, there are still a lot of ground clearance left. Where uh, this was really easy peasy for the S cross, and as you can see, this is pretty common in off roading where the wheel is up. And it was just a piece of cake for the S cross. It didn't even bother or didn't even you know struggle at all. It cleared the first obstacle without any kind of problem. So now let's move on to the next path where there is a deep steep and we have a lot of rocks and gravel. This might be a little hard for the S cross, but let's see how the S cross performs. So this is completely filled with rocks and gravel and you know deep path holes. But let's see if the S cross can make it. So this is really hard for the S cross because it has got no traction because of you know this land is completely filled with rocks and you know gravel so it has it does have the little bit of wheel spin here but it cleared it as you can see I'm going to show you the in other angle you, you can see that it is completely filled with the rocks it is really hard to get the traction in these type of conditions and also when I got the car first here I really thought it it is not possible to get the car here I'm going to show you the pathway we have come so far so as you can see in the video right now, uh, this is very deep stuff and it has a lot of rocks and you know a lot of deep you know path holes. But S Cross managed to you know uh, cross all of those things. Genuinely talking, I'm really impressed by what S Cross handled. So now let's move on to the next phase which is rock crawling. So S Cross did it with a piece of cake. He didn't even struggle at all. I'm gonna show you ne the next path. You'll be really amazed about, you know, the if you see the path, you'll really be amazed. As you can see, I'm gonna show you in a bit. This thing is really very steep and it has a lot of rocks and gravel. But this car managed to cross all of this without any kind of hazard, not even a single wheel spin. I really have to appreciate this guys. Like I was really amazed by what the S cross did. And one of the important thing you have to follow in these type of conditions is you have to be really slow and you have to keep your RPM slow and you have to be very careful about how much power you are giving to the wheels. Did you just see that? It was just a piece of cake for the car. It just cleared the obstacle without any kind of hazard, not even a single wheel spin. I'm gonna show you the other clipping of the from the other uh, you know angle. Really impressed a lot. Not even a wheel spin, not even any kind of struggle, not even anything. As you can see in this video, 
I'm really impressed of what X Cross is doing. Piece of cake, if I have to say, really very easy. It crossed all the path without any kind of hassle. I'm gonna show you the path again of what X Cross has been crossed. See the path, guys. See the path. Definitely very impressive. Really impressive. So now let's move on to the third phase where there will be a lot of you know uh, climbing. So as you can see the path it is very steep but I don't know in camera how it how it's looking. But it was really very steep and it was very you know it was completely filled with grass you know rocks and lot of sand and mud. As you can see, we are getting a lot of waste because there is no way this car can get traction here. So now let's try once again. We did get a lot of wheel spin, but the S cross managed to cross it all. beautiful sunset guys so now let's get back and you know uh, climb down the path we climbed up before We have a wheel up here which is pretty common in off-roading. And I'm gonna going to show you the ground clearance of how much you know the space is still left to the ground. So it is very important that you have to drive very slow. As you can see th there is still a lot of you know space left to the ground. Nothing, not even a bumper or any kind of thing has been touched the ground. Well, it was easy for yeah. S-Cross to climb down, Dan to climb up, so it has cleared the third phase as well. As you can see, while climbing down, nothing has been stretched to the ground. As you can see, there is still a lot of, you know, space left to the ground. So, uh, it, it can still handle, you know, a more steep uh, climbing or, you know, coming down. So now let's move on to the next path where there is a lot of you know steep hill and there is a lot of uh, mud there is a lot of grass which is it is really hard to get the traction here let's see if the S cross can make it as you can see it is uphill it has a lot of gravel in it let's see if the S cross can cross it Well, I don't know, this thing is just like going anywhere, it's just making it look so easy, you know, definitely impressed with the S-Cross. Well, we have another climb up, let's see if the S-Cross can climb it. I guess we get a lot of wheel spin here, but let's see. No, not a lot of wheel spin, guys. Like if you see the video of the Ignis, it really struggled to come here because you know uh, because of a uh, lot of modern thing but this thing is just going everywhere without any kind of hassle i don't know what to say so now let's climb down the same path and as you can see the ground clearance of the car even though if you come down with a steep hills there is no any kind of thing to be scared 
as you can see no ground or any bumper or any kind of thing has been touched to the ground there is still uh, you know enough amount of ground clearance left well i don't know what to say this car is not at all struggling uh, it's clearing every path i put in front of it in a easy way so if your friends or someone in your family owns the s cross please do share the video and let them know how what s cross is really capable of So now let's move on to the next phase which is last one no roads at all making our own way As you can see here there is no road at all it's just lot of grass and you know rocks and other stuff let's see if they cross and make it here in these type of conditions so it is really very important that you have to be very slow so the dangerous thing in this type of roads is the rocks underneath so we made sure there was no any kind of rocks or hidden holes before getting the cross here well so far so good so we do have a little bit of steep up here so we did have you know uh, no any kind of problem at all we did get a lot of wheel spins but s cross managed to cross this if you can see in this video closely as you can see there is lot of big rocks it is really very hard to get the traction here but s cross managed to come up without any kind of hassle so moving on to the conclusion part S cross really deserved you know the SUV badging because this thing just cleared all the obstacle without any kind of hassle and like i said if you own an S cross and i know you're not going to be off roading with it if you really is an enthusiast and if you want to go off roading let this video set an example of what S cross is really capable of well guys i hope that you have enjoyed this video and if someone in your family or if your friend owns the S cross please share them this video and also what i've asked you to do is just please take your one second of time and please subscribe because i put in lot of hard work in this video i did really have lot of high infections because of the dust so all i'm asking for you to do is just please subscribe so it will definitely be you know a big support for me so thank you for so much for watching please do like share and do not forget to subscribe